Finally, after hours and hours of painstakingly doing every wire on that Datsun, this weekend I put in 15-20 hours and finished rewiring everything and I have the wiring diagram done. So, what I have to do now is just print everything out on a nice big 36 by 48 architecture paper and just kind of double check the wires. I want to make sure everything's right and then I'll go from there. But the wiring on the car itself is finished. I have the terminal board completely together. I have everything functioning as it should and it feels great to have that done. So I made a list for this. So I have a couple things. One, I finally installed a timer for the fans. So now when I'm done with the car, I can flick this timer on. It'll make it so that the timer will keep the fans on for three minutes and then shut them off. I have a link in the description of the timer I use. It's a cool little relay timer switch thing that I found on Amazon. It's like 10 or 15 bucks, I can't remember, but it definitely does what it's supposed to do. Next, I had to kind of waterproof the car. I took the car out in the rain for a 25 minute drive or so. And when I got back, there was a big puddle sitting in the passenger seat. There was no sealant on the gasket for the door. So water was just kind of going around the gasket going down onto the floor pan. And second of all, there were a couple holes, little pinholes right by the front fender. So water would flick up from the wheel and go into the cab. So it was also coming in another section as well. I put caulking in that one and those holes go into that and I put glue onto the gasket and uh, sealed it in place and hopefully there's not going to be any more water coming into that area. I bought new carburetor nozzles and needles. So I called up Z Therapy. The guy is great. Make sure if you have any questions, even if you're not really looking to buy something, I would ask him first to get a good opinion on maybe how you should go about solving an issue and he'll definitely help you out if you need anything. So what I did is I called him up, told him what I was going what was going on and basically he told me hey check this 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 and I knew it was probably one of those I just wanted to get a confirmation that okay this would affect this and I wanted a professional opinion I didn't really want to deal with online you go online and everyone's all of a sudden a mechanic so when I looked down I noticed that it is a little oblong in the nozzle causing it to run rich on one of the carburetors and I had an idea that this was actually the issue because when I first took apart the carburetors the brass uh, needles were a little worn in some of the areas. So it makes sense that that happened and I'm very excited to get the new parts. They'll be on the car by the next episode. I need to get inspection on the car. I need to get the thing ready for it next September. So I'll probably bring it in next month in August. Get them to check over it. Hopefully it passes. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is the steering rack and pinion. They said it was a little loose last time I brought it there, but I really didn't put that many miles on it, so hopefully it'll pass it again. Other than that, those things I just mentioned, the car is basically done for the summer. I mean, I'm gonna do little things here and there, but for as it is, I kinda wanna put the miles on it. Hopefully with these new nozzle and needles, it'll be reliable and I won't have any issues with, the, with trying to tune it. And come winter time, I'll end up just putting getting rid of all the rust, I'll put brakes, brake lines, and I'll put new wheels and tires on it and the car will be done for as far as I'm concerned. Of course little things might be going here and there, new gaskets, whatever, but I don't really want to do more than that to the car. I kind of want to leave it just like that. Which brings me to my next point. Hopefully end of next year or so when I finish all these things that I want to do, I want to try to get a clean 240Z. I don't care what year, I just want a 240Z, something for around six to eight grand, and I want to put the V8 in it like I wanted to do to this car. I just want to make that a performance, handling, have fun, go fast machine. Now, I know a lot of you guys are against the V8 ruining the Datsun breed, but I don't know, it's just what I want to do to the car. I really like this one, I understand it. I'll probably rewire it again all from scratch because I like to do the wiring and I know how to do it now. But other than that, that's kind of the plan. So hopefully next year around this time or so, things might start to happen with that. Lastly, I want to do a Datsun 240Z with my car versus my friend's BRZ. He has a BRZ Series Blue, but you know what, I kind of want to try to find a nice, nice like videographer, somebody that's maybe in college or semi-professional at making videos and try to make it look real professional and good. Try to do like little autocross uh, track time or something or do like a little drag race or 
just little things, kind of like how the Roco guys have two cars and they do challenges. But I just want to kind of have fun with my friend and compare these two similar cars. So other than that, that's all I have for this one. Hopefully next update you'll see maybe a video of the car driving. I know my one friend has a GoPro I might borrow and might do a driving video. So until then, out.